Good evening. Today, I'm going to be reading from Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. <clears throat> I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. My God, in Him will I trust. I feel this generation, though, has a lot of trust issues. You know, we have this relationship with someone and we feel this tension in our minds saying something bad might happen. What if he does this to you? Or what if she says this about you to her friends? That's common. Betraying rumor spreading you know people who we feel that are really close to us and then they go at us and when we figure that this is who they are we can't help but feel broken but also feel attached because this generation doesn't know how to end a, fr a toxic friendship. You know, when a friendship is going really bad, it's going even worse. And at that point, you're a pet. It seems like most of our youth don't know how to end the friendship. They don't know how to. And especially with relationships too, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend, when that relationship is becoming toxic, it's really hard to say, this isn't going working anymore. Because, you know, there's drama, there is a lot of nonsense that doesn't need to be dealt with. And that's how social media has been. You know, we live in a, a, ca uh, a cancel, cancel culture where we're canceling other people. Oh, you know, you say this, all of a sudden it has this unintended uh, impact. It's, now it sounds like you've been saying all of this when you never intended to say that. You know, you've never intended or even implied And out of all of this stress, out of all of this anxiety, and out of all of this anger, there's one you can turn to. And you will say to God, He is my refuge. God, you are my refuge. God, I trust you. Because we also read of the scriptures in the Old Testament, uh, as we find with Balaam, God says to Balaam, I'm not a human. See, we try to confuse God into thinking he is someone that we can figure out. Oh, God, oh, you must be someone like this. Well, God has divine attributes, countless, if not mysterious. We can't compare God to another person. The only person that was within God and God was in was Jesus. Jesus is the revelation of God because Jesus was not like anyone on earth. The last messenger who created thousands of messengers. Thousands spread his message of his existence, of his 
death and of his resurrection. How do you know there is a God? Look at Jesus and look at what he died for. He died for the existence of humanity. So, if you don't know how to trust God, learn how to trust Jesus. You know, when there was a time when women were being mistreated, the woman came to Jesus. When it was a time when people were not liked, they came to Jesus. All of these people, no matter who they were, even if you weren't the same nationality as Jesus, they still came to Jesus. And many messengers, they still preached Jesus, no matter who, who they, it was they were preaching to, because they trusted in the God Almighty. See, these apostles, these messengers, they didn't care about what others said about them. And it's hard for us to really handle that in our heart. Because we feel broken when we hear rumors. We feel broken when we have all of this weight, all of this burden, all of this hate. We feel broken. And Jesus says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So, we see how the writer of this psalm, David, he that dwelleth in the secret place, you know, whether it be in your room, Jesus says to pray to your father in, in the closet. Just go and pray. Pray. If you don't know how to pray, Jesus taught prayer. And what it means to pray, it really means to let God be in your life. You let, because we all have free will, but and I can think of countless times when I didn't pray, I didn't sing to God, I didn't even think about God for many months because I thought that I had to do so many things to make myself happy when there was only one thing that truly made me happy and that was Jesus. And to abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know, that that's wonderful. I, I can't think of anything more wonderful than to even abide under the shadow of God. You know, that, that to me is so... And I can't think of a word to describe that. The, the Lord God has such love for you to die for you. If life is hard, if life's uneasy, Come to Jesus. His yoke is easy. And his burden is light. Think about him. Pray to him. If you don't feel like praying, start praying. 
He died for you. So he could show you that there is a God. And that we may all repent. Turn away from sin. And let God win in our lives, in our souls, in our hearts, and in our conscience. When these things are at peace, you feel released over truth, sets you free.